some days as a YouTuber can be really, really stressful and difficult. Not today though. Today is a little bonus video because I want to tell you about a few very cool and interesting things. First of all, two of my friends got McLarens. More than that, they are in fact father and son. My buddy James, who you may have seen on the channel before, and his dad John both bought themselves supercars on the very same day. And I went with them to film the collection, but unfortunately, a few things conspired against me and um, the video didn't turn out very, very well. So I'm here to tell you, these things are gonna be on the channel and they're gonna be part of a special that I'm running in December. December, I'm gonna try and make a bit of a theme month. I've been experimenting with theme weeks at a very good celebration month in August this year and that went down very well. So this December is gonna be British Car Month. My aim is to go from the 1st of December right up to Christmas Day featuring only British cars. And these two are gonna be a part of it. But more than that, there is a chance that come Christmas, you could be a McLaren owner too. Apparently, it is rite of passage for YouTubers now to have BOTB get in touch with you. Yes, 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 they're the people that used to put cars in airports and now do car raffles online. They got in touch with me a little while ago and said, did I want to do something with them? And I said, well, you're not really doing anything with any of the cars that you raffle, so let me have a think. And then these two smashing gentlemen got in touch and told me they were buying McLarens each like you do and then when i saw what botb had planned well things just couldn't work any better botb are having a celebration of their own at the minute they are apparently preparing to give away their 500th car they want it to be something very very special so they've got a list of about eight cars including a 720s and a 600 lt spider which that is not and not only that you get a car you get 20 grand in the boot and 1,500 quid towards insurance, which believe me, you are going to need. And someone is gonna have to win one of these cars by November the 12th. So I'm on kind of a deadline to shoot this and get this out. To make things even better for you, and worse for me, the ticket prices have been slashed as well. Now, when you do these promo things as a YouTuber, you get given like a little spiel of what you're supposed to say. And they told me you need to equate the price of a ticket to something else, like a point. Now, I don't know if the guys that run BOTB have ever had to buy a pint of even, say, Diet Coke, my favourite tipple, in London, but their ticket prices are much, much better than that. For the price of a Diet Coke in London, you can nearly buy two tickets for their competition, because they're starting at £2.40 and going up to just over three quid. And the last time I bought a Diet Coke in London, it was over four pounds. Now, you guys want to know more about these cars, so I'll get my contractual obligation out of the way ASAP. BOTB is a competition available worldwide. You have to be 16 over to enter. You're going to play a spot the ball competition, so you basically have to get a picture. And you have to tell them where you think the ball is. A panel of judges will look at it and they'll think where they'll say where they think it is. And then the person that's closest wins the car, loads of cash, big smiles all round. Um, just to look um, between you and me, uh, I can't enter the competition unfortunately because it wouldn't look very good, would it, if I won? Which greatly upsets me because I would quite like a McLaren of my own. Uh, so, if you do uh, go and enter, and the details will all be in the description below, um, can you take me out in your McLaren? And I'll, um, I'll buy the Diet Cokes. Anyway, on to the core of the video. These two cars, I'm going to be shooting the review today, which will be released in December as part of the aforementioned British Car Month. But more than that, these are now going to be sort of long-termers on the channel, much like I have my own cars and I report back in on them when I can. Well, we thought it'd be good to have two regularly used McLarens on the channel. You see, McLaren don't often get a lot of good press from people that buy them. And we're going to find out just how justified that is. Both of these cars have got 10,000 mile a year limits on them for very good reason, because they are both being used. In fact, uh, this one over here has had about 1,300, 1,500 miles put on it in the first fortnight. Uh, granted, that's a bit exceptional, but these are not garage queens. These are cars being used all the time, which is why they are ever so slightly mucky. But we're going to basically be featuring them as often as we can. So. The purpose of this video is to ask you guys what you want to know. What do you want to know about the ownership, the, the, the practical experience, the sides of these cars? What has the internet not told you so far? Because I appreciate that they are both cars that have appeared quite a lot online, but we're hoping that we can cover them in a more honest, more realistic way because McLaren themselves got 
nothing to do with this video at all. These are not McLaren owned cars, these are not press cars, these are just cars owned by two friends. So, December is going to be quite good because this is just two of the cars that are coming. We've got a whole lot more. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please uh, visit the link down below for a chance to win. Well, not one of them, one of them. And uh, have fun. See you soon. Bye bye.